start with you right here. He does have the most beautiful eyes, so. Hello, everybody. This is Cole. He is in a leukemia positive kitty from South Carolina. Living in his forever home at Blind Cat Rescue. I cannot get us live here, folks. You got to check it out. Hey, Checker. <gasps> what is but it? There is another leukemia positive piece. You're rocking out of control. His brother is right there in the water fountain. That's Domino. Mr. Colonel here. He should be a new broker pet. Hey. Burr. He always looks. What's that? That one broker cat. Not going to get, but. Colonel, oh, Colonel, Colonel, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And his name's Colonel, too. <laughs> You're up to 121 here on. Okay, folks. Hi, my name is Alana. I'm with Blind Cat Rescue. I'm here to answer your questions tonight. We're going to do a fast q and A. I'm going to answer the questions I get asked the most. Where are we located? We're in St. Paul's, North Carolina. We have 90 cats. Um, of that 60, 70 something is blind. Somebody told me the other, the number the other night. Um, we do leukemia positive cats and FIV cats also. We have two buildings, so a lot of people say, well, where is Snicker? He's in the other building. Um, a cat with leukemia, Diana, it depends a lot on a lot of different factors of how fast the leukemia affects her system. Three to five is, is a good number. Sadly, no, there is no cure. There's some questionable treatments. We've not found success with any of them. We do have quite a few that are five right now, but we've lost them, you know, when they're very young also. It, a lot depends on how well their immune system can process with it. Um, thank you very much, Andrew. We appreciate it. Um, we get asked a lot, um, is there somebody here 24 hours a day? Most shelters in the United States do not have staff after 6 p.m., 95%. Um, your vet's office, 95% do not have staff after 6 p.m. Five nights a week, we have staff till 11 p.m. And there's somebody who lives on site, so 24 hours a day, there's somebody here. What's another question we get asked a lot? Can people adopt these babies? Do we adopt? We do not adopt. These cats have a lifetime home. Once they come to us, they finally have forever. Every single one of these animals have lost at least one or two homes in their lives. So when they come to us, we guarantee them forever. Um, is FIV the same as feline AIDS? A lot of people say that, it really isn't. Um, AIDS is a product of HIV. FIV is feline infectious virus. It is a virus. It is a viral disease that does affect their immune system. It's contagious only by deep, bloody, biting, fighting, or being born with it to a FIV positive mother, and they may not even necessarily become normal, become a positive either. Lots of factors involved with FIV. But an FIV cat can live a very long, healthy life. You know, I mean, we've had them 15, 16 years old. Um, another question we're asked a lot, who's our oldest? Abby is our oldest. She's pushing 18. She's a blind kitty. We have four 24-hour feeds. Today, the building, we're on Ustream. We're in here. The next day, it moves and it keeps moving. So Tuesday, if you watch our Ustream feed, you'll see Abby. You can go to our website, blindcatrescue.com. Click the button that says, watch us. And you'll see our, all of our different live feeds. Snicker likes to sneak into one of the kitty rooms, so you'll catch him on camera on our Meshire cameras. Um, Tammy, our personal preference is actually Fresh Step, although on our wish list we'll see Arm & Hammer because they don't have Fresh Step available right now, and it's too expensive to ship it. Um, our personal preference, that's just our personal preference, um, is Fresh Step. Everybody has their own personal preferences. Don't you dare spray me. I will be so angry. I will be so angry. Please sit here with me. Yes, I felt that tail thinking about it. It must be on your end, Stephanie. Yeah. Um, if you guys would like to donate, please visit our website, blindcatrescue.com. You can always help the cats by sponsoring. You can become a monthly sponsor. 
become a sustainer for as little as a dollar a day. Oh, I'm sorry, a dollar, I like that dollar a day. <laughs> uh, for as much as a dollar a month, you can become a sustainer. And that helps us continue to provide quality care for the cats. It also helps support our spay neuter program. Last year, we, we spayed and neutered over 1,300 cats. So, you know, you're helping save lives that way. What else would you guys like to know? Uh, is Atticus getting away? Well, not really. That's Sundays. He, he's, he's in and out of time out. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> um, is there anything we need people? We always need people. Um, you know, supplies, we go through the same stuff every day. The cats like to eat. We use 120 cases of wet food. We go through 60 boxes of um, cat litter every single month. We use trash bags every day. We use paper towels. We use syringes. So we use the same supplies, you know, dish soap, laundry soap. So, you know, these things are always needing continually to be replaced, but nothing that we're just in dreading, you know, in desperate need. I do not like Tidy Cat Vicky. Um, it's been our experience in our rooms that we just, it stinks. <laughs> this stuff just smells terrible. That's just our humble opinion. Just like we had uh, received a very large donation from the cat litter called the world's very best cat litter. It's a corn litter. Our experience with that was we're in the south and it gets very warm here. And we had thousands of bugs hatching out or coming into that corn litter. Nevertheless to say, we never used it again. The cats hated it. We could have two with fresh stuff and two with corn, and they would go for the fresh stuff. It was crazy. <laughs> so, yes, it was very, very bad. But, yeah, our personal preference is we don't like tiny cat. We'll do these boxes, I promise, in a few minutes. And after we get done, we'll do kind of a miniature tour. I wish we could get him alone. He's being a, he's being a busybody. Right, yeah, you want to spray something. I can see you, buddy. Oh, fine. Well, he says he's not a dog. Um, the reading program. Uh, we do not do T and R. We work with several groups who, who do do all the. They have the. They're the worker bees. They do all the manpower. We take care of the bills. Um, the reading program. We have a summer reading program. Thank you, Jill. Um, having kids come read to the shelter cats and they get rewards for a reading and I'm hoping that it'll be successful. We're trying to get to the schools now. We've got a newspaper article being written. We were at one of our local festivals this weekend. So, well, the Arm of Hammers is a low dust, but we just don't like it. Uh, it's not a little great. Uh, the cat left. Sorry, Peter. Um, sorry, Peter. What else would you guys like to know? You got about four minutes, then we're gonna open boxes. Oh, I just lost a picture. Well, Camellia, we like cats too. Pearl. You can. Uh, bon Bon. I like that name. Bon Bon. We like Bon Bons. Those are good. Uh, bon Bon. If you if you donate with PayPal. They'll convert it. Just go to our website, blindcatrescue.com, click the big heart up in the top, and PayPal will convert the pounds to uh, dollars. Thank you very much, Amin. Is that how you pronounce it? A M I N E? Thanks, breed no fun. What do you mean? Yeah, she's got mates that she's trying oh. to get rid of. Kayla, we have staff. Uh, we have 10 employees who work here, and they work very, very hard to keep this place clean. Again, we have four live feeds. You can see the conditions the cats live in at all times. You can every morning tune in and you'll see the staff cleaning. <laughs> they clean lots. If you come across blind cats in our local area, can we engage us or be able to recommend local area? Andrea, that's a wonderful question. Um, you can contact us. We can't recommend anybody because we're the only one in the country that I know of. I would suggest you go to your local groups. Being, you can find them on PetFinder.com. Um, we can put a courtesy posting on Facebook and see if you find an adopter for them. Uh, what time of monthly donations come out? Melissa, I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure I understand that. Uh, 
your question, unless you mean if you become monthly, it starts at the same time you sign up. So if you signed up on the first, it'd be at the first every month. It just depends on when you do it. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. That's very Hello. kind of you. Probably come. Guys, got two more minutes for questions, and then we're going to open these boxes. These boxes were gifts from wonderful people like you that are watching that buy from our Amazon wish list. Hi, Rusty. Mr. Rusty here is a cat that came out of the woods desperate for help. He was starving. He was covered in wounds. He was covered in ticks. He was so dehydrated, his skin was like leather. I had never felt anything like that. And he was so Girl. grateful for food. Stop me, too. Um, you know, helping blind cat rescue helps a cat like this. We still do news at 6.30. Yeah, we'll do news at 6.30, promise. Um, did I eat all my brownies? <laughs> they were great for breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful breakfast. Um, they can see Rusty's face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If y'all saw Rusty when he first came in, you'd know how different he looks now. Um, but he was very, very grateful for help. And helping us is, you're helping this. You're helping Cole here, who was coming from animal control, who was going to be euthanized. Or you're helping Colonel, who came from animal control, who is going to be euthanized, or you're helping Miss Pearl, who is also blind, who is going to be euthanized. Um, we do use Bon Bon, we do use crystal cat litter, we use it a lot in our quarantine room because we're able to see how their urine looks, we're able to see if there's any blood in their urine, and we don't use it real thick, so we're able to dump it you know, if, if, as we replace cats in the quarantine room. So, yes, we do use crystal litter. It's not on our wish list right now, and I'll tell you, we're down to about four bags, so we could always use that. That's something I would never turn down. So, say, who else do I have over here? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Show you all This guy, I'm sorry I interrupted y'all. This one here, that's Fred. Fred is also blind. His little buddy here is Domino, who he, he was making sure to, he's very clean. Miss Socks back here ignoring us. Hi, Fred. Did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. Go back to what you were doing. These two both came from Wake County Animal Control, where they were to be euthanized. Socks back there came from an animal control facility that was being shut down. Or well, actually, it was a shelter, and until shelter, it was being shut down for cruelty. Uh, we got Mr. Bear up here. Got this bear up here. Are you Bear or are you Simba? Can I see your body? You're Bear. Hi, Bear Bear. This is Bear. Bear came to us after his owner died and left tons of cats. The local rescue got involved. You know, like I said, when you support us, you're helping. This is a cat you're helping. Hey, checker. Came to us from animal control. You're helping Simba. Hey, Simba. Yeah, I know. And you're helping Sergeant. Your fat cheeks, Sergeant, came from Wake County Animal Control. And you're helping my buddy, Rusty, and no sweetheart. Yeah, it's, I just came from being outside, starving, somebody dumping me in the woods. You guys want to see our memorial garden? We'll do a little mini tour later. We're going to do boxes here, man, some of our plants. When they pass away, we give them forever. When they pass away, we come home. And we end up planting rose bushes to mark their graves. Let's see how beautiful they are. Cat, if you're watching, these are the trees you sent us. They're drowning my rose bushes. <laughs> we get asked about power outages. We have a generator. Some more flowers. And cats look like they were watching the uh, bird feeders that have been tipped over because the birds were on them. Let's see some of our other cats. That's okay. Another room. Hi, Simba. How you doing? <laughs> bon Bon, that would be awesome. You can order it um, for us on Amazon. I missed all your questions. I'm sorry, I didn't look. Um, yep, Bon Bon, you can find it on Amazon. If you go to the top of our Facebook page, there's a link. 
or go to our webpage, blindcatrescue.com, click wish list. It has a link. Um, that's probably the easiest way. Chance is in the garden, yes. If they passed away, they're there. Popcorn's in another room, but you'll get to see her um, later. Fabio, thank you, I think. Well, it's all it's okay. I'm going to do something good. Um, thank you. Ward, um, we appreciate you not putting links. What else would you like to ask? Real quick, one last question, then we're going to do these boxes. Okay. Try the new kitties, Justin. New kitties. Um, we really don't have that many new kitties. One of them is this one. He's doing better. <laughs> um, Tom is doing better. He's still on some serious drugs after having his leg amputated Tuesday. Um, he's doing better. He's got a great appetite, so he's really he's doing well. Ziggy um, still has his feeding tube, but that's more now for the convenience of us and him to take his medicines. Um, Sherry, thank you. We are signed up for Fresh Step's paw points. So if you use Fresh Step and you don't use your points, hey, you can donate them to us. Just go to your Fresh Step account. It has where you can donate. You'll see it's just type in black cat. We're listed. Um, what can I tell you about the man coon? I really can't do the thing. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know a thing really about breeds of cats. It's not something I've ever really studied. Uh, that's one of those things that I take Google. You'll find a whole lot more. Or that's what I would have to do to answer your question. Um, how, do, how many personal cats do I have? Three. Um, yeah, Tom, um, his leg was in such terrible condition that the vet felt that that was the only thing that we could do to be able to bring him comfort was to be to remove his leg. Okay, so let's do some the boxes. And then we'll do a mini tour of one of the other rooms. If you guys would like to donate and help the cats, we we'll always send boxes from our wish list. You'll find that on our website, blindcatrescue.com. That or the Amazon wish list is also pinned at the very top of the, box, of the page. Chance passed months ago. Yeah, okay. Chance has been gone for a while. Um, Back like April. Karen Bethune, B E T H U N E, Karen. She said peroxide. We use peroxide a lot to clean. We use bleach, unfortunately, also with peroxide. It's much easier on the lungs. That cleans all the germs. So we try to use that as much as we can. Are you just desperate for something to spread? He wants that box. I know. I'll mm. the box. Sylvia Bales sent fresh uh, two boxes of litter. Is that two boxes? Looks like it. Is that the one I wrote down? Yeah. Oh, I see what she wrote. She said poundage. She sent a box of litter. We, all, we try to open the litter before it comes in here because it kills us to be picking it up. So, we don't do it in here. Oh, you want a box, sweetheart? Here. You want that? Okie dokie. He's making sure I get, I get everything out, which I have not. Um, okay, can I have my packing stuff? Please? Yes, it was peroxide. I have peroxide in my lap. I'm looking for packets that he's sitting on. Excuse me, don't bite me. Thank you. Can I have the rest of my packets? Sorry about the earthquake. Oh, my hand was itchy. Oh, <laughs> Getting the BCR, we hope the food, litter, and medical supplies make you happier and safer from the Well Day family. So part of their work is come in a separate box. Facebook, uh, Amazon does that often. They also never ever give us your contact information. So please don't think we're being rude when we don't personally message you. So he has three sets of kittens. He's been cleaning their eyes out. Shelters will put them down. What should... Well, they haven't even showed up yet. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for the food. That, that, that question hasn't come up unless it passed me. What dry food? Is it like abundance still? Again, it hasn't showed up. Um, there it goes. The kids outside all have eye problems. They clean their eyes daily. Um, Timothy, you need antibiotics. You need to take them to a vet. Or you're going to end up with being blind. Cats. The dry food we don't have on our wish list. We use a food called Life Abundance. You can find that on our website, blindcatrescue.com. Click the link for wish list. And it happens to be there. 
I'm happy. sorry, I thought they were just going by so fast. Yeah, I no, didn't know they didn't show up. It just was seen, <laughs> seen locked. Um, yeah, Tim, those kids are going to be blind if you don't get them antibiotics. If they're having those eye issues, they probably have a couple of respiratory oh. infections. A bottle of antibiotics will save your sight and make them so you will be able to find them at home. I pray hard that you get some other kids because a mother cat can become pregnant the day after she delivers. Wow, she, she can get the, she can pregnant immediately. So don't think, oh, I've got six, seven weeks. No, no, you don't. A mother cat can be pregnant immediately after she gives birth. Hey, you so, pick that box, so Colonel. If you have a stray running around. You need to get that sucker fixed. Paula, no. Thank you. I like kittens too. There's another box over there. Here, honey. There you go. He wants a cold box. He wants a cold box. There you go. Right here. Box for you. Thank you. I'll see. There you go. <laughs> Whatever. It had the flaps in. He didn't like the flaps. Oh. Well, he yeah, he got right in it when you took him back out. He's full rotten. They all are. <laughs> Scott Middlestead, M I T T E L S T E A D T. M I T T E L S T E A D T. Scott, I apologize. I am pulling just My Siamese has eyes that are running. What should I do? Go to the vet. That's going to be pretty much the answer a lot of the time. Guys, you know, <laughs> if you got a cat that you're having to ask that kind of question to me, you really need to take a trip to your vet. There's a good possibility your cat has an eye infection. Your cat could have an, a. Uh, up a respiratory, if they have either one of those, a bottle of antibiotics will take care of the problem. You need to see your vet. You need to see your vet. Baby neuter is absolutely the most important thing also. Thank you, Liza. You're correct. If you like to shop at Amazon, as much as I do. My idea is Christmas by UPS. I don't like shopping. Whoa, boys. Oh, that, actually, that, was, that, was, that was cold. I know. It looked like strength. Um, when you shop on Amazon, if you do through smile.amazon, you can pick Blind Cat Rescue as your charity, and then we'll make a donation to us every time you do that, which is kind of awesome. Um, Heather D. Heather D. Why do I know that name? Heather D. Heather D. Is that me? That's Heather D. Thank you very, very much. For the syringes, we go through a lot of syringes. A lot of cats are on different oral medicines and so forth. So syringes are always wonderful because we don't have the um, sterilizer to be able to sterilize them. And these are disposable. I mean, you could wash them, use them once or twice, but the inside coating is gone after about three times, and they're impossible to use. And Heather, thank you very much for the food. We go through 120 cases of this every single month. 120. And what goes in comes down <laughs> to 60 boxes a cat litter every month. So if you'd like to send us food, we would love it. Pat, um, that was you guys. We had nothing to do with that. We did not decide that he was the supposed cat. And we didn't love him because he smiles. So that's how he ended up Are we the only cat. blind cat rescue in America? To the best of my knowledge, there's, uh, there is Another girl who says she's a blind cat rescue. I know she's operating out of her house. She takes seeing cats. She doesn't adopt. She says she's a sanctuary. It's just her and her mother, and they have more than 50 cats. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, there used to be one when I first started. I know that she had written me that she uh, was considering closing. Uh, she's actually here in North Carolina. I have not heard anything from her in years. I don't see her online. I don't know if she still exists or not. The other one, I don't know if she, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Do we ever have fights? Oh my gosh. Between the cats and the Oh yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, they squabble. You'll see Colonel and Cole fight all the time. That's Are blind cats more accepting towards other cats? Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. I think that they, it depends. 
cats are cats, and black cats are no different, although they don't like to get bumped into if they're not sure who they're getting bumped into by. Um, but cats are cats. Some cats are very social to other cats, and some cats, not so much. <laughs> Fred, he likes other cats. Pearl, not so much. It just depends. This is from James Phelps. James sent us an Amazon wish list, or wish list, gift card, I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's been a long <laughs> day. It's been a real long day. We started an hour earlier. Uh, so thank you very, very much for the Amazon gift card. This is wonderful when we need things. Um, do we use past pate or chunky? Anything. They, they're not real picky. Now they love the ones with gravy. It's probably your real favorites. Um, well, no, my memory's shot. John Chow. Uh, a lot of people say, how do you remember the name of 90 cats? Their family. You know their family's names. Oh, that's how we know the cat's names. The real fun is trying to remember the cat's personalities. A.J. Shaw, S-H-A-H. A.J. is A-J-A-Y. Shaw. S-H-A-H. Cool. Thank you very, very much. Ow. Uh, for the food, and this is actually, it's so funny you're asking about cats and food. This is probably one of their most favorite foods. They love it if it's in Wolluva, but there's another company called BFF that makes the exact same product. They hate the BFF, they love the Wolluva. How's that for crazy? The same with the lamb. They love the Wolluva, they hate the BFF. Go figure. Uh, yeah, go figure. Snicker, oh my gosh, he was on the feeding tube for three or four months, uh, weeks. I think the longest I've ever had a cat on a feeding tube is probably two months. Um, I think he's going on a month and he's doing well with it, surprisingly. Most blind cats, or cats period, when they've had enough of a feeding tube, they take that sucker out. They will scratch it, they will claw at it until it's out. Um, so far he's being a little tolerant of it. We have to give him such nasty, nasty tasting medicine that it's in his benefit for us to leave that feeding tube as long as we can. And the same when Snicker was so sick. Snicker, we had to remove it because he had an allergic reaction and ended up with an infection that was swelling his neck. So Snicker, we had to remove the tube and then he had to take the medicine the hard way down his mouth. Uh, by that point, he was eating and maintaining his weight. You know, there are times with the feeding tube that we keep them because it's easier for the staff and for the cats to be able to get them through all their medications. If they were sick enough that they needed a feeding tube, then they're on some serious medicines. And a lot of times, it's a lot of medicine. So, by the way, if you ever have a cat that's real sick, and your cat's not eating, and you're thinking you're gonna syringe feed on people, a syringe cat needs a lot of food. Please have a serious conversation with your vet about giving you a feeding tube. A feeding tube is very, very easy to feed a cat. And the cats prefer it, and you'll prefer it real quickly. Um, does they throw up? Yes, occasionally we walk in hairballs. Um, Christina's going to give you a little mini tour. Pick a room, Chris. Um, I can show you guys feeding a cat through a feeding tube if you're curious to see it. Y'all want to see it. Why do they eat grass? Because they want to, they like the taste and they want to throw up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's another one of those things I have to Google. I'm sure my daughter will answer that one. What does Stevie eat? No question. Stevie eats. Stevie has um, irritable bowel syndrome, which means he needs alternative. Uh, that hasn't come up yet. It, it needs alternative proteins has to be a protein that he's not used to, so he can't eat the chickens and the fish. So he eats buffalo, he eats kangaroo, he eats rabbit. Brush tail. Brush tail, which is <laughs> awesome. Um, so, yes, Cheryl, it is on, uh, Feeding Tube is on YouTube. Snicker is fine. Um, can I talk louder? Jeannie, I think I'm actually done talking. <laughs> but you guys, thank you very, very much for all your wonderful work. Don't forget, you can donate to the cats, blindcatrescue.com. Um, and I may show you giving meds on a feeding tube when she gets done She's doing the tour. So stick around if you want to see how it's done. It's really easy. Um, I'll do the patio here until you're done. And then, oh, did you? Oh, yeah, that's right. You went outside. Well, then I'll go to a different room. Just let me know when you're ready. Anyway.
FELV in this room. These are all blind babies. No one in this room can see. Here we go. We'll start out on the patio in the blind room. Here we go. First off, we'll show Mr. Morris. This is Morris. Well, I'd refer to him as Mission Morris. He's usually not still for long, ever. This is Morris. If we come across, we have their lovely Scotty Too Hotty for that marshmallow body. Hey, chill out. Chill out. This is Scotty. Atticus. We have Miss Izzy. She's meowing. Hey, Miss Izzy. I said stop it. And I mean it. Come on. Hey, Miss Izzy. Here we have the beautiful Miss Popcorn. Here we go. Here's Miss Popcorn. She's one of our tripods at BCR. Everybody loves some Princess Popcorn. Oh, you got something on your mouth. Like, stop it. <laughs> I'll try and get it. Fine. You walk around with food on your mouth. Look, no, scraggly. This is Popcorn. Hey, Pop Pop. Let me get that belly. Come on, get it. Oh, boy. I'll get that belly, girl. And that stuff on your mouth. Let me get that food off your mouth. <laughs> Popcorn, I'm gonna get that belly. I'm gonna get that belly, girl. <laughs> Miss Popcorn, Miss Izzy, I'll get your belly too. I'll get your belly too, pretty girl. Yes, I will. I'll get your belly too, pretty girl. And this is Miss Gina. Hi, Miss Gina. Hey, Gigi. She looks like she's smiling all the time. Gina. That's Miss Gina. Up here we have LT and Buddy. LT stands for little thing. She's this lovely little girl right here. That's all over the place. <laughs> and Mr. Buddy Boy. He's one of our shy, sweet men. He's a big boy. Oh, I just called you sweet and shy and you smacked me. Get you again. Get you, aren't you? Hi, Miss Izzy. I see you again. Over here we have our beautiful Miss Tabitha. Hello, Tabitha. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Hi. She likes her butt scratch. <laughs> Tabby. Hi. Hi. Here we have Sterling, our silver lion of UCR. Hey, Sterling. He's got his new fresh summer dew. He's usually a big old fluff monster, but he's got his summer dew. That's Sterling. Is he again? Is he getting her camera time? Best believe. Here we have the lovely Miss Manxie. You met Bear, our male Manx. This is Manxie, our female Manx. Miss Mancy makes her breeze her ball of no tails or nubs for tails. She has absolutely no tail. Hey, Miss Mancy. Hey, Miss Mancy. Hi. Listen to this purr. Can I hear your purr, sweet baby? Let's listen. 